Good morning on this Friday the 29th of May. Today we're looking at Ephesians chapter 5 verses 1 to 20. This week in the Curatage has been Colour Week. Uh, we've been creating uh, a sensory experience week for Liliana. So we've had red, which is why you saw me recording uh, in this talk uh, when I was looking at Ephesians 4 on unity. And some may argue this was not the most united thing to do, but it is united, man united. We've had blue, uh, which you didn't see me recording. Uh, we've had yellow, likewise you didn't see me recording in that. And we've had green yesterday, which I was going to record in, uh, but I've left my reflection till this morning. Uh, today is pink day, or faded red, as my t-shirt is. Sensory experiences for Liliana. Well, here in Ephesians 5, Paul warns about guarding the senses. He teaches very clearly that we are uh, to keep uh, watch, to walk in love, because now we are in the light. We are the light of Christ. And so we are to not return to the darkness from which we have come. Christ has, of course, released us uh, from the darkness and brought us into his marvellous light. And it is in his light that we are to live. And so he, uh, Paul lays out uh, these uh, guidelines, these um, instructions on holy living, if you like. So if anyone was to ask uh, you, uh, as a new Christian, uh, where, uh, where can I look in the Bible for instruction? Or, or how should I live now that I'm a Christian? Well, here is where uh, one of the, the many passages where you could point them. Uh, because Paul covers everything here and, and continues into uh, verses 21 and beyond. Walk as children of light. Walk in love. How are uh, we living in these days of lockdown? Um, where we're not uh, out and about as much as we would normally have been. Some of us are, some of us aren't. Paul looks at the Spirit, that we are now children of God, and therefore his Spirit indwells within us. And so he uh, warns us uh, to not get drunk uh, with wine, but to be filled with the Spirit. To be filled with the Spirit. This week, of course, we approach Pentecost. I'll be sharing a little bit more on the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives on Sunday. But it's the, the work of the Spirit in us that enables us to live lives of love, to walk in the light, and to live lives uh, with the fruit of the Spirit at work in us. Paul mentions in this passage as well, uh, the fruit of light is found in all that is good and right and true. Goodness or generosity being kind, being self-sacrificial, doing what is right, doing what is right uh, by others. So seeing the needs in our community, seeing the needs around us and striving to do something to help, striving to connect to someone in need and generously giving of yourself, your time and your resources where possible. And then what is true? To live a life of integrity, a life of truth, uh, that God may be clearly seen at work in your life. Good and right and true. This is the light of uh, the fruit of light. Next week we will be sharing uh, on fruits of the Spirit. And again, it is uh, by God's Spirit that we can live, that we are empowered and enabled to live as his children in this dark world. We pray today for those in 
government, locally and in London. We pray for wisdom. We pray for integrity. We pray too for all those who continue the search for a vaccine. We pray too for those who work in the charity sector, navigating these difficult times as they seek to continue to support the vulnerable. And we remember stepping stones as well, more locally, uh, to us here in Lisbon and their work in these days. Be blessed. Keep loving one another. Keep walking in love. Keep connected to Christ and walk by his Spirit. <laughs>